Milkweed bugs provide an excellent opportunity for students to observe a life cycle that includes incomplete metamorphosis. When you receive your order, open the container and inspect your milkweed bug eggs. The eggs should be yellowish-orange. The color will gradually change to deep orange just before hatching, in about four days, depending on the ambient temperature. To prepare for hatching, set up your culture vessel. You will need to provide your bugs with food, water, and shelter. Carolina's milkweed bug kits come with a water container and wick to provide water without the risk of drowning. Fill the bottom of the container with water. Pull the wick through the lid and place the lid on the container. Place the water container on the base of the culture container. Once your culture is growing, water should be changed if the level is low in the reservoir or if the water or wick becomes fouled about once a week. Provide your bugs with a place to climb and hide. Carolina culture kits come with a climbing net, but wadded paper or towels can be used too. Lay the netting or paper towel against the water cup in contact with the water cup so that the bugs can use it to climb to the water. In nature, milkweed bugs feed primarily on milkweed seeds, but these cultures have been bred to feed on raw, cracked sunflower seeds and will take several generations to adapt and thrive eating a different food. Place the food near the bottom of the climbing net or towel. Food should be replaced when it appears shrunken or shriveled. Milkweed bugs will not consume the entire seed. Do not allow the food to become moldy. Now that everything is prepared for the nymphs to hatch, place the egg in its cotton ball in the culture container on top of the netting or climbing cloth. Newly hatched milkweed nymphs are very tiny, so cover tightly with a cloth or plastic with tiny perforations to allow for air exchange. Securely fasten the cloth in place with a rubber band or tie. Check for folds in the cloth where nymphs could escape. Use a lid with tiny perforations or loosely place the lid on the culture jar to be certain that air exchange can occur. The culture can be maintained at room temperature out of direct sunlight. Insects in the order Hemiptera emerge from their eggs as smaller versions of adults called nymphs. Unlike adults, nymphs do not have wings. They will undergo several molts. Each stage between molts is called an instar. Milkweed bugs go through five instar phases. Once your milkweed bugs begin to mature towards adulthood, in about 20 weeks, place cotton in the culture jar so that the adults can lay their eggs. The adult milkweed bugs will eat the eggs. To avoid this, remove the cotton daily and place it in a separate jar or container and replace it with unused cotton. If you need to determine the sex of the milkweed bug, this can be accomplished quite easily in adults. Females tend to be larger and have black spotting on the underside of their abdomens. Adult males are smaller than the female and are characterized by thick black banding on the underside of their abdomen. If you plan to keep your culture going, the culture container may become dirty. We recommend having two culture containers to move your culture between. Wash the container with soap and water. Make sure to dry it completely before reintroducing your culture. Following these steps will lead to a successful milkweed bug culture. Number one, check the water dish weekly and replace if low or dirty. Number two, remove any moldy, dirty, or shrunken sunflower seeds and replace them with fresh sunflower seeds. Number three, keep the culture jar clean and dry to prevent mold and disease. Number four, remove cotton daily while you have adult bugs. Once nymphs are hatched, they can be returned to the main culture.